All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back. Let's uh, do a little upgrading. Basic armor. All right, uh, what about Garrus? Let's finally go speak to the council. Captain? Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Oh, really? You sure about that? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. 
It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Alright, we've got Spectre bonus training unlocked. Okay. 300 years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Yeah, they tend to do that a lot. They tend to ignore people quite a bit. Um, Not too many didn't mean to do that, but okay. To the tower. Even less get permission to meet the Council. <laughs> Sick, Cora's Den. Uh, let's let's take a look at Cora's Den again for a second. <sighs> Plus, I do kind of want to know where Flux is, just in case. Oh, we do need to talk to him. We'll talk to him after we talk to Harkin. Go away. Let me, let me drink in peace. Okay. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is it worth it? You're pathetic. I understand. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I understand. I understand being mad at rejection, but you shouldn't act like that. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? 
War. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? It depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Uh, how so? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Alright, so is he in the embassies? Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Oh, even if he doesn't get the rank, he's gonna act like it. <laughs> I got business here, but not with you. Hi, be with you in a minute. Alright, off we go. I remember there being a keeper somewhere in these back alleyways. Like passing one. Or did I already get it? Nothing's in there. Yeah, I already got it. Okay. Where does this lead? Presidium. No sign. Okay, so this is the market. And Flex is up here. Let's see if there's anything interesting. We'll head to Shire. You should be careful when you say that around. What? It's out of my hand, Hunter. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What's the problem? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Uh, have you talked to the authorities? Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Right, which is usually what they'd say. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> okay. someone else okay so gambling suspicious gambling machine wait what where someone wrecked this machine to funnel credits their way I'll run a trace really a journal signal tracking 
coming from Ward's Access Corridor. Okay. Well, we're headed that way anyway. Sorta. Alright. So, what do we want to do? Might as well go out the Ward's Access. Where's the Presidium? Market score is done, CSEC. What's this? Okay, might as well go to the Presidium first. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why... Okay, so skipping that really didn't do too much. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. Can't... Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Okay. Uh, where to now? Financial district at the Presidium, and I think that's near uh near the consort. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel Security to pursue Saren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Garrus has that, like, that 80s cop on the edge mentality right now. Do you feel lucky, punk? I hope that doesn't get copyrighted. It probably shouldn't. I didn't actually use any audio. Um. Tower. There's the financial district, where, and Shair is on the other side. So since we're here, Let's run to the embassies, which is this way, I think. Yes. Talk to uh, Zeltan. Circle about. Go to the consort. Then to the financial area. Run, Shepard. Go. Welcome to the Presidium. Thank Allow you, Avina. Although I think you'd be more profitable placed at a spaceport. Or not profitable isn't the right word, but you know, effective. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. There should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, is made. Anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. No problem. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Yeah. Anxious request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. No Approving. problem. You see, Den, not all humans are as you say. 
Tell him I'm off, sure man. The Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Not really. Fuck off, you dick. I just want to be nice. Is that so damn hard? It's not like I walked up to you and said, any problem you have, I can deal with. No. You stood there, all of you stood there, and spoke to me for five minutes at length about what was irritating you. So I decided to help. Alright, so... Consort's down there, and we can talk to her. I went very often when you steal the Arcos. Yeah, ever since this time. It seems like I've passed about just to be looking at funny faces like you call it. Okay. That's right. It was a... You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. And now we speak to her. Shaira. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Sure. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Very astute. Thank you. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Uh, thank you. What is it? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okay. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. What did she actually give me? Like... Oh god. I have no clue what she actually gave me. But let's go to the financial district, talk to Bar Levon, and go down to CSEC. Because I think that's it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong button. Also wrong button. There we go. Sprint like the wind, Shepard. Got a moment, Spectre. Wait, who the hell? Who said that? Oh. Got a moment. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Weren't you in the Citadel DLC? You're obviously with them. 
Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Okay. Defenses, known crimes. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. All right, uh, and lastly, defenses. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership's soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Uh, I no, won't do this. I'll do it. Not a problem. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Interesting enough. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the pursuit. Oh my god. What did... Did he get stuck on the door? Okay, so it's coming from here. Here's the source. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Excuse me? Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. We don't have to fight. You're bluffing. Creator's location. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Okay. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Why? What the fuck? Reason for self-destruct, creator's location, creator. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. But... But why try to kill us at all? It's not like we can really stop you. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Okay. 
Why would you ever do that for gambling? That That's dumb. You could have just sold the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Oh, shit, okay. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Okay. Shit. There we go. That worked. And none of the wiser either. Okay. That's that's out in space. <clears throat> also in space. Oh, we have to go to Flux, that's right. Go. Wait. Wait, no, not Flux. Cora's Den, which is not too far, I don't think. That was strange. That was strange. Yeah, what is it? What happened? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. An experiment? In the casino? It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. So what's the point? Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Is, is that really...? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Right, so you're trying to produce a legitimate device and then sell it to people so they can cheat. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Okay. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Alright, fine. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Exactly, I don't know you. That data won't collect itself. I don't know you, I understand. It's not what I heard. And what did you hear exactly? Old rumors about strange metal creatures with real AI. I'm waiting for someone else. So what do I gotta do?
Okay. So I have to get to 20. How many wins do I need to have? Okay, so don't often it, see someone getting as lucky as you. I've won twice in a row, that's about it. Wait, how many does it say how many I need? Okay. Okay, sweet. Now I can just go talk to the guy. Hey, good to see another human in here. All right, buddy. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm going to get the system completed. All right. Now the core is done. Which is down this way, I think, right? Yep, through here. Hey, Jenna. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Okay, I mean, well, like, dressed in that as a bartender, apparently it's 50% 50, 50 of your job. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Right, okay. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? 
I guess we'd better go find out. Did I blow her cover, or is that her handler, or what? That was strange, but kind of expected. Where's, where's the guy? Okay, so he's over this way. Talk to Detective this Joe. guy. Com no offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chadwick. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Okay. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chellick. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But... That still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Sounds good. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Well, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we will see about hitting that arms dealer, talk to the guy across the hall, and see about getting Jenna to safety and getting our Spectre stuff. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.